Hi, you've clicked on today's Tropical Tidbit for Sunday, August 23rd, 2015. The thoughts expressed in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, please always consult the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service. Well, here's a quick weekend update on the tropics, starting with the Atlantic first. Here's Tropical Storm Danny approaching the northern Lesser Antilles, has fallen off of its peak as a Cat 3 hurricane, as expected due to wind shear, dry air being forced into the circulation by the wind shear, and the faster trade winds on approach to the Caribbean. All of these things contributing to Danny's weakening. Now the close-up loop here shows that the low-level center is partially exposed at times as the wind shear pushes these thunderstorms to the northeast side of the circulation, and Danny is continuing to weaken and will continue to do so as it moves through the islands. And now moving on a nearly due west track, slightly north of west, that will take it through the islands. Here's the current forecast from the National Hurricane Center, taking it through the northern Antilles and then into uh, Hispaniola, which will surely kill it. Not going to need to worry about any regeneration probabilities here, as this will be uh, totally destroyed by the high mountains of the Greater Antilles, and it will not be a concern after that point. But there are still tropical storm warnings for this out for Antigua and Barbuda and Anguilla here in tropical storm watches from St. Kitts to Puerto Rico. So this can still bring some blustery tropical storm conditions to the islands, but the storm is likely to be more of a benefit than a problem, probably due to the rains that it's likely to bring to the islands here, and they sorely need rain. So this storm hopefully going to be uh, a greater uh, bringer of good than bad for the islands over the next few days. Also out in the Atlantic behind Danny, kind of following in its footsteps, this large lumbering tropical wave, Invest 98L, which will be moving uh, nearly due west and may again follow Danny's footsteps being very close to the northern Antilles in a few days. The National Hurricane Center has a 70% chance that this develops into a tropical cyclone during the next five days. Uh, but these waves, so a couple things about them. This is very different than Danny, a very large wave. Danny was very small. Uh, large waves like this take a long, long time to organize and do not strengthen quickly and do not become storms quickly. But because of their large size, that means they're very robust. So they can survive the dry air and the shear and everything that is near the Caribbean in years like this. And when they come into the southwest Atlantic, if they make it in here intact, then this more favorable part of the basin usually allows them to try to develop. And to, this is what some models show. The European has developed this this uh, wave periodically, and the most recent one runs don't develop it in earnest until it reaches this favorable part of the basin in here. And it's too soon to know uh, down the road whether this will be a threat to any land areas, uh, but this will be tracking west and into eventually a part of the basin that is much more hospitable to a system like this. So we may have Erica on our hands in several days, but currently details are very vague on the system. We'll just need to keep an eye on it over the next few days, and we'll know more as time goes on. Now switching over to the Pacific, we've been concerned about Tropical Storm Kilo to the south of the Hawaiian Islands, but over the last three days has really not organized as quickly as anticipated. Despite being in a low wind shear environment now, its low-level structure remains rather elongated, and uh, the recon planes flying around in there have not found a remarkably well-defined center, and uh, this has really struggled becoming organized, and this is good news for the Hawaiian Islands because the two ways this storm can avoid a hit on Hawaii is to A, stay weak as it is now, which will allow it to follow the low-level flow toward the northwest and avoid the islands, and B, is to move slower. And uh, its intensity is partly tied into this. The longer it takes to organize, the slower it will move. And if we look at the GFS, 500 millibar forecast for Tuesday afternoon. This is where it has Kilo by this time. And we talked about this ridge over Hawaii and this trough to the north weakening the ridge. And if Kilo was able to strengthen into a hurricane quick enough, it could erode the northwestern part of this ridge and recurve sharply, potentially affecting the western islands of Hawaii. But uh, the system is uh, moving a lot slower now. This was the forecast from the GFS from three days ago. This was Kilo on the model, a hurricane already hitting the islands by Tuesday. You can see the difference in the forecast. See how much slower the storm is. It's much farther uh, to the southwest here. And given how slow it is, this trough now has time to weaken, which allows this subtropical ridge to rebuild over Hawaii while Kilo is still away from the islands. And this subtropical ridge, Hawaii is at a pretty f uh, southerly latitude at 20 north. It's uh, pretty close to the deep tropics. And so you can't keep the subtropical ridge down for very long. And once that rebuilds in, it nudges Kilo back toward the northwest and out into the middle of the Pacific, harmlessly well away from the Hawaiian Islands. And that's what's currently the trend 
in the forecasts for this system is given that it's currently weaker and slower than anticipated, it has a much better chance of avoiding the islands, and the current Central Pacific Hurricane Center forecast does echo that philosophy, showing a bend back away from the islands. And you know, still a four to five day forecast, so things can still change, but the trend is really away from Hawaii at this point, which is good news for the islands at this time, but we'll continue to monitor Kilo as it develops, as it will likely become a powerful hurricane at some point during its life, despite its early struggles right now. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.